Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name's Nadia and this is the place where we get real. And today, oh, we are getting real. We're gonna be getting real about how to get a woman sexually obsessed with you. So if you're a man who likes having sex with women, then you should definitely keep on watching. Welcome back to my channel. Are you serious with me? Oh my God, oh my God. <laughs> I don't understand how these things always happen to me. So it's no secret that I have a lot of male subscribers on this channel. Men who genuinely want to improve their sex lives. And I think this is great because let's face it, sex education really lets us down when it comes to providing any kind of detailed information around the female body and certainly around female pleasure. It's basically completely neglected. And so it's really unsurprising that a lot of men are genuinely quite confused about what it is that women enjoy sexually and what are things that you can do as a man in the bedroom that are gonna make a woman keep coming back and I mean coming back for more so today I'm gonna to share with you my top six tips that are going to absolutely blow her away this is really the biggest and most important step. If you neglect this step, then unfortunately, any of the other steps are going to be pretty much pointless. And that's why I'm mentioning this first. And look, a lot of men really struggle with lasting a long time in the bedroom. In fact, it's estimated that around 30% of men suffer from or have suffered from at some stage in their life, premature ejaculation. Premature ejaculation isn't defined by orgasming within a specific time period. It's defined more so by the fact that you repeatedly orgasm before you want to. And this is actually quite common. And the good news is it's absolutely something that you can treat, something that you can tackle, and something that you can actually completely overcome. Now, I'm about to eat my own words because about a year ago, I made a video on this channel talking about my top premature ejaculation tips. And one of the things that I said is that I would never recommend for you guys any kind of spray or cream for your penis because all of the products that I've seen on the market really actually negatively impact both your experience and your female partner's experience by trying to treat PE through applying something topically on the penis. They usually cause numbing for both you and for your partner. And for that reason, I said, not recommending those kind of products, guys. It's never gonna happen on this channel. But I am also willing to be kind of schooled and to check out the new technologies and innovations that are coming out. And I've been doing a lot of research and speaking to a lot of different people and I've actually discovered a product that can be applied topically to the penis and will not cause your female partner to experience numbness and it's not going to destroy your sexual experience it's not going to destroy your pleasure and cause you to feel completely anesthetized downstairs what it is going to do very successfully is to help you last longer and what i love about this product is that it's actually at an affordable price point because in the past anything i've seen that's been vaguely decent for pe has been at a really high price point so i'm super excited to introduce this product to you and because i'm so excited about it and i genuinely believe in it i did reach out to the guys who make this and they have so generously offered to support this video and in fact this video series that I'm going to be doing on how to be the best lover you can for your woman in the bedroom. So thank you so much to the guys at Promessen for sponsoring today's video and let's take a little bit of a look at Promessen and what it does and some of the other amazing products that these guys offer to help you be the best lover that you can be. Promessen is an FDA compliant delay spray that helps men last longer in bed and the only delay spray in North America that's undergone a certified clinical study which 
showed men who use it go the distance. Promescent works by using target zone technology, which helps extend your performance without making you feel numb, whilst also ensuring little to no transference to your partner when used as directed. This is because unlike regular delay sprays, Promescent doesn't sit on the surface of the skin. Instead, it sits just below the epidermis, where it's much more effective. There's no need to think about math, your grandma, or the baseball score during sex. Promescent takes away that edge so that you can relax and enjoy the ride. Pun intended. But don't just take my word for it. Promescent is recommended by over 2,200 physicians, doctors, sex therapists, and urologists nationwide as a first-line defense for early ejaculation. Better still, it's available over the counter and online without a prescription, so you can avoid the awkward doctor's appointment. Promescent also offer a wide range of sexual enhancement products for better lovemaking, from silky smooth lubes to supplements to increase your energy, erections, and libido, to condoms. They're essentially a one-stop shop for for hot, healthy sex all year round. Promescence Delay Spray is already incredibly cheap, but because I'm so excited for you guys to try it out and see how good it really is, I've got a discount for you. Just use the code NADIA15 at checkout to nab yourself 15% off. The link is in the description. Be quick because this product regularly sells out. I'm going to sound like a little bit of a broken record here if you're not new to my videos and you've watched some of my other videos on female pleasure before, but the reason I keep bringing this point up is because it consistently rates number one for women in the research and just anecdotally in my own life as a woman and all the women I speak to will constantly talk about how incredibly important this is to them. Kissing and more specifically deep passionate extended kissing has been shown to create intense arousal in women. It releases lots of dopamine, which is our feel-good hormone. Dopamine also helps to relax us, which means we get out of our heads and we're willing to get a whole lot more freaky in the sheets and we're also more likely to reach the big O. So you want to get lots of that dopamine flowing during foreplay, which is why your focus during foreplay should absolutely really be centered on that deep extended kissing. I recommend absolutely minimum of five minutes of just extended kissing with all your clothes on and all her clothes on. Women, we need that anticipation. It gives us time to really get excited for what's gonna come next. It also give, gives us time to get lubricated downstairs so that when we do move to penetration, it's gonna be super comfortable and super pleasurable. Touch her body over the clothes, feel her breasts, feel her ass, feel her stomach. You can even put a hand under the clothes, but just keep the clothes on. It's going to allow her to kind of really fantasize about what's going to come next. And before you know it, she will be the one ripping off your clothes and getting straight down to business. If you go to penetrate a woman and she is not absolutely dripping wet, like super slippery wet, the sex isn't going to be great for her. I don't care if she makes all the moans and she goes through all the motions. I'm here to tell you guys, she's probably faking it. When a woman isn't adequately lubricated, sex is generally disappointing at best and at worst it can actually be painful for us because the friction of your penis thrusting in and out can actually cause micro tears inside the vagina and that can be intensely painful for a woman and that's the kind of sex she definitely won't be coming back for more of. If you get to penetration and you've already done the full play thing and she isn't wet then that's when I would recommend bringing in some lubricant. There's absolutely no shame in reaching for a bottle of lubricant. We have this idea that if you as a man can't personally get a woman wet, then you're a sexual failure. But the truth is, women's lubrication is influenced by a lot of factors that have nothing to do with you as a man, how attractive you are, or what sort of a lover you are. Women can experience vaginal dryness when they are taking certain medication, when they're going through menopause, as as part of the aging process. If they're under a lot of stress in their life, that can affect their lubrication. Even their diet 
can affect how lubricated they're able to get during sex. Just because a woman isn't lubricated after you've had foreplay does not mean she isn't turned on. The only time I would assume she's not turned on is if you've skipped over the foreplay. Most of the time, women are going to really prefer to have that foreplay to just give themselves time to build that anticipation and to warm up. By adding some lubricant specifically to her clitoris, not just her vaginal opening, what you're going to do is just increase her clitoral sensitivity. The coolness of the lubricant is just going to bring that extra stimulation to that area. And we all know, well, we hopefully know if you've been watching my channel for a while now, that the clitoris is king when it comes to getting women to orgasm. So anything you can do to make it feel even better for her is an absolute win. Most people feel a little bit nervous or awkward about talking dirty because the first thing most of us think is, well, what do I say? What's gonna sound sexy and what's just gonna sound weird? That's normal, but just because you're nervous does not mean you shouldn't try something. What we know from all of the research on female pleasure is that there is a huge and very significant link. Some people have even referred to it as a loop between the vagina and the brain. So what you wanna do in bed with a woman, if you really wanna make the sex amazing and you really wanna keep her coming back for more, is not just focus all your attention on her genitals. You wanna focus some of your attention on her brain. And dirty talk is such a great way to do that. Now, what's a guy to do if he doesn't know where to start with the dirty talk? I would recommend watching some very soft core kind of light porn and erotic films and seeing what the actors say in that to kind of stimulate and get some ideas flowing. And then the other great place to start with dirty talk is just simply recounting to her the last time you saw her naked or the last time that you guys had sex. And if there hasn't been a last time, you could even talk about the way that she looks and feels right now. Those sorts of things, apart from being really sexy and really erotic and dirty, are also going to help a woman to feel really desired and really sexy because you're making her the center of attention. You're telling her how much of a turn on she is to you. And when a woman gets confident in the bedroom, that's when things get freaky and wild and you have that really amazing, unforgettable sex. And the kind of sex that she'll want to keep coming back for more of. A lot of men have been taught to see vibrators and sex toys as basically a threat. Like if she brings out the toy, your penis is like competing with that toy and it's basically a sign that you weren't enough to please her and she's needed to use something else. But actually none of that is true. And hopefully if you've been watching this channel, you're already well aware of that. Sex toys and vibrators and butt plugs and dildos and all of those fun things, those things are all bonuses. They're add-ons. They're ways to enhance the already amazing intimacy that you're having with her. And for that reason, it shouldn't be seen as a threat and it certainly shouldn't be seen as a replacement for your penis because the great news is she can enjoy both your penis and the toy at the same time. Now, my number one recommendation for getting a woman to a basically guaranteed orgasm is to lay down on your back as a guy, have her straddle over the top of you and ride you. Encourage her to get out a small clitoral vibrator or maybe even have one yourself in your nightstand and just whip it out. Make sure that you have some lubricant on it because we know lubricant adds comfort and it adds stimulation and then have her hold that on her clitoris while she rides you. The way a man acts after you as a woman have sex with him, that is pretty much often the determining factor as to whether or not you actually even want to have sex with that guy again. I know that as a woman, I have had some explosively amazing sex. Really, really great, great sex. And then after the sex was over, the guy pretty much jumped straight out of bed, 
whipped on his clothes, called an Uber and left. And I was left feeling used and like I was kind of just a stand in for his hand. You can still treat a woman with dignity and respect and have intimacy and connection between the two of you without having to be in a relationship with her. I think there tends to be this kind of fear among men that if I just want a sexual hookup, I need to make it really clear by leaving the minute sex is over. But that's going to be a huge turn off for the woman because she's really going to feel used and abused. So if you want her to come back for more, you kind of need to capitalize on all those after sex feel good hormones. We know from research that for women, oxytocin floods the brain and the body after sex. And oxytocin is a bonding hormone. It makes women want to talk and connect with our partners and it makes us just want to cuddle up and be close to you. So now you know the secrets. What's that saying? With great power comes great responsibility. Yeah, make sure you use all the power I've given you responsibly. And guys, definitely make sure you go and check out Promescent. I obviously love their premature ejaculation spray, but as you saw from earlier, they have an amazing range. And what's really great about them is they're supporting my channel so that I can keep making videos like this because YouTube demonetizes these kinds of videos because they're kind of X-rated. So it's sponsors like Promescent that keep this channel alive. So by supporting them, you guys will be supporting me. The link is under this video. Go and check them out. Go and have amazing sex. And I will see you in the next video. Mwah.